Hey guys, um, I reported this video earlier today, um, but as I was settling in for the evening and um, I had the video ready to get ready to be posted, um, actually the Lord told me to add two things to the video. So I'm re-recording, so please pay attention to this video and receive what the Lord has for you. Lord, anoint my words and help me to get your message out and prepare every heart to receive what you have for them, Lord. Don't let the enemy steal, um, steal your word or steal this fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to share three things. I'm going to share um, a specific word from the Lord that he gave to me to, um, it's from scripture to read on here. Uh, number two, I'm going to share um, a dream regarding this topic um, for me, but also for you guys. And then number three, I'm going to put a link in the comments section. So um, after you watch this video, please click on that link. Um, it is a prayer of renouncing witchcraft and other things that are um, closely related that most people, probably all people have taken part in at some point in their lives and they need to be renounced. And a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't realize this. And so the Lord told me to come back, put this link in the comment video or the comment section so everybody can have the opportunity to go and renounce these things. And when you renounce something, um, you're taking your authority in Christ um, to command things to leave you and go away from you. And so with the renunciation prayer, this is not the kind of prayer that you say in your mind. This is the kind of prayer that needs to come out of your mouth because you're using um, God's power in your words um, to decree some things. So I encourage every person, whether you know that you've been involved in witchcraft in this lifetime, whether you don't think that you have, whether you're not sure what I'm talking about, please, the Lord is saying this is so important. Um, click on the link, pray along with the men. I know some people are going to be pleasantly surprised. Some people are going to be shocked at the freedom that you receive, at the clarity in your mind, at the healing in your body, at the um, things coming into right order in your relationships, in your career and your finances, whatever. There's so many things that we are oppressed by the enemy in different areas of our lives. And we don't even realize that that's what's been going on, even for generations in our family. So I encourage you to go do that. Okay. So I'm going to read um, this scripture word that the Lord gave me, and then I'll tell you guys my dream. So uh, this comes from Micah 5, 10 through 15. It says, at that time, says the Lord, um, actually, before I start, I forgot to say, I forgot to even tell you guys the topic. Um, this topic, the Lord is um, having me do another video coming against witchcraft, divination, death, all of the spirits that are connected and hiding behind October 35th, 31st and Halloween celebrations. Um, there are demonic spirits that have deceived the nations um, whatever nations take part in this, um, holiday, they've deceived us for a very long time. And it's like the Lord is putting a cancellation order against Halloween and against the spirits behind it that have been plaguing us and our families. And for many of us, they've come against us unknowingly when we thought we were just having fun, innocent party celebration, whatever, whatever those things, but it's actually pagan revelry. And the Lord is saying enough is enough come out of those things, my people, that is not for you. Okay, so that's what this word is concerning. So the Lord brought this word to me concerning this topic from Micah 5, 10 through 15. It says, at that time, says the Lord, I will destroy your weapons, your horses and chariots. I will tear down your walls and demolish the defenses of your cities. I will put an end to all witchcraft. There will be no more fortune tellers to consult. I will destroy all your idols and sacred pillars so you will never again worship the work of your own hands. I will abolish your pagan shrines with their Asherah poles and destroy the cities where your idol temples stand. I will pour out my vengeance on all the nations that refuse to obey me. And then Micah 6, 3. Oh, my people, what have I made? What? Sorry. Oh, my people. What have I done to make you turn from me? So that was um, a, a word that the Lord put on my heart and said to read this and um, bring this before my people. So that's done. And now I'm going to share um, a dream that the Lord sent to me. He's been really having me do a lot of intercessory prayer. 
several videos coming against um, this holiday season, this whole month where witchcraft and divination and enchantments and all of these things are so very high, especially coming against you. If you're a believer in Christ, you have a huge, a bigger target on you. Um, and I've seen a lot of these manifestations coming against me and my family, especially this year, more so than others. So um, it's very high because of the month that it is, but it's also very high because the point in time um that we are in these end days. And so um, the dream that the Lord gave me was um, I was in a basement, which was in my dream. It was my basement. And um, I was down there and there was a window and there was a small portion of the bottom of the window open. And I was down there doing stuff. And like these, a couple animals like came in the crack of that window that was open. And I remember thinking, okay, I need to come back down here later and close that window. So no other animals or whatever critters can come in. And then I went and did something else. Well, later on in the dream still, I go downstairs in the basement and I had a little girl with me. Um, I was doing some things in the basement and then the little girl, uh, I'm facing this way and she's facing behind me. And then she says, um, uh, close the window so they don't get in. And as I'm turning around, I'm asking who, or before I turn around, I say who, and then she points and she says, Halloween. And I turn around, um, and that little opening at the bottom of the window, there were at least three, maybe as many as five of these huge demonic figures that, you know, in, in regular life, they wouldn't be able to fit there, but they were contorting themselves and getting through and climbing through. And they were like this, and so I turn to see them finish coming through and they all just start coming at me like this. And at first I shrink back in fear and then I realize I have the power of God to come against these things. I'm not afraid of them. So then I go forward and I'm just going towards them and I start rebuking them and commanding them to leave in the name of Jesus. And I woke up and I asked the Lord about the dream and he was reminding me that the fight is not over for me to continue to rise up, to pray, to rebuke, uh, to spread the word, um, to go do spiritual warfare. Um, and so it was a reminder of, um, of how he wants me to continue to fight against them, but also the body of Christ this, that you guys are invited to do that too. And also through that dream, he was showing me that there's so many people that um, they don't realize that these demonic spirits are a part of Halloween. Um, and they've been deceived and that they have crept in just like in my dream, they crept in that window and they were demonic spirits, but they called themselves Halloween. And so the Lord wants me to remind you guys that um, if you're celebrating this holiday, that these demonic spirits have crept into your family unaware and they are causing issues that you probably are not aware of. Um, and so please put an end to it, get out of it, get your family out of it. Um, even if you've done it for your entire life, the Lord is putting his foot down and he is calling us out. He is calling us to live clean and holy and set apart lives and not to join um, in these pagan things that invite demons into our families and, um, and defile us and grieve his heart and his spirit. Um, so thank you for listening, please. Um, even if you're not even quite convinced about the evil that is involved in in celebrating Halloween, click on this link, pray through the prayer and see what the Lord does. See what the Lord does. So I just pray that everybody will get freedom. Everybody will get healing and health and wholeness that the Lord has for you. Be blessed. May the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. And also I pray that he'll reveal to you the places where um, spirits have crept into your family unaware um, not only through this, this holiday, but any other places, Lord, shine your light in every dark place and set everybody free from everything that holds them captive, whether they're aware of it or not. Lord, thank you for deliverance. Thank you that you bring us out of Egypt, whatever that Egypt may be in our lives in Jesus name, and that there's no condemnation in Christ. There is no condemnation in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over every listener and your families. In Jesus' name, amen.